In today's video, I will be discussing the top 14 best stocks to invest in for the development of artificial intelligence and the popularity of ChatGPT. NVIDIA's A100 graphics processors are used by Tesla to develop artificial intelligence for self-driving Tesla cars, points to each company based on their prospects related to artificial intelligence or a maritime blockade of Taiwan. 60% of all chips are produced using machines from ASML, making the ratio of people to robots about 3 to 1 for now. Become a millionaire with artificial intelligence and ChatGPT. This is the second video in the series about artificial intelligence and ChatGPT on this channel. The first one discussed whether ChatGPT meant the end of Google. In today's video, I will be discussing the top 14 best stocks to invest in for the development of artificial intelligence and the popularity of ChatGPT. While working on this topic, I realized that the video is longer than expected. So I've decided to split it into two parts. In this video, I'll be assigning points to each company based on their prospects related to artificial intelligence, political risk assessment, and the attractiveness of the current stock market valuation. In the fourth video, I will answer the question of whether artificial intelligence will take our jobs. A little introduction to the topic. I believe that the cost of doing business will decrease. Thanks to the use of artificial intelligence based solutions, one graphic designer will be able to produce even five times more, just like copywriters. Similarly, one text corrector will be able to verify text already corrected by ChatGPT and handle 10 times more texts in the same amount of time. Solutions like GitHub Copilot or code inquiries in ChatGPT can make a programmer two, three times more productive. Imagine that suddenly there are twice as many programmers in the world. That is why I believe that we can expect very rapid development in the coming years, which should not come as a surprise. My investment portfolio only consists of technological companies both American and Polish. I will expand on this topic and talk more about the impact of artificial intelligence on the job market in the video, which I will publish in the second half of March. You will learn from it whether artificial intelligence will take your job or whether it is an opportunity for us. Subscribe to the channel to not miss this video. Today, I will focus on companies related to semiconductors and robotics. I will discuss and evaluate seven companies. In the next episode, I will cover seven companies related to assistants like ChatGPT and companies related to cybersecurity. Companies like Alphabet, Microsoft or Baidu will have to pay high costs associated with language models. Training and using a model like ChatGPT requires a lot of computing power. This leads us smoothly to the topic of semiconductor companies. In this episode, I will discuss five companies from this industry, but I'll pay special attention to two of them. It's impossible to talk about this topic without explaining the details of the semiconductor industry. Currently, the most talked about companies in the media are NVIDIA and Taiwan Semiconductors. Let me explain the differences between the activities of companies like NVIDIA or AMD and Taiwan Semiconductors. Although the topic may seem complicated, I will try to explain it in an easy to understand way. Companies such as Nvidia or AMD specialize only in designing chips and sell finished products to end customers while outsourcing production and assembly to other companies specialized in such activities. This is where Taiwan Semiconductors comes in. Currently, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company builds chips for NVIDIA, AMD and Apple. Taiwan Semiconductors only deals with the production of integrated microchips on demand. It does not design these chips. Thanks to outsourcing production to this company, NVIDIA, AMD or Apple do not invest huge sums in factories and one factory can cost 15 to 20 billion dollars. Taiwan Semiconductors is a market leader that reinvests a significant portion of its income in improving technology. The company specializes in the production of processors based on quantum lithography, 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers. 
which allows for the creation of more efficient and energy-saving integrated chips. As you can see, Taiwan Semiconductors is a clear leader in the market for contract chip manufacturing. The semiconductor production market is a growing sector. Over the past 3-4 years, semiconductor production has doubled. In 2022, the value of the semiconductor market was $602 billion and the foundry production, which refers to production on behalf of companies like Taiwan Semiconductors, accounted for $127 million. The main risk associated with investing in Taiwan Semiconductors stocks is the potential attack by China or Taiwan or a maritime blockade of Taiwan, which could negatively impact the company's operations. Although most of the company's factories are located in Taiwan, Taiwan Semiconductors also has factories in China, the United States and Singapore, and plans to build more in Arizona and Japan. In recent years, Taiwan Semiconductors' revenues have been growing dynamically, and the net profit margin has been maintained at over 30%. Although Taiwan Semiconductors seems attractively priced, it is not my favorite in the semiconductor industry, mainly due to geopolitical risk. What's interesting, Berkshire Hathaway, managed by Warren Buffett, sold 86% of its Taiwan Semiconductor shares. So maybe Samsung, which also shares its production capabilities with other companies, and has about a 15% share in the foundry market. However, investing in Samsung stocks, it is important to remember that semiconductor production is only part of Samsung's business. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company and Samsung are the only companies that have and share their production capabilities in technology below 10 nanometers, which is used in CPU and GPU processors. Older technologies are used in industries such as automotive. And now we come to another interesting company in the semiconductor industry, which is the Dutch company ASML, that provides technology and equipment for semiconductor production. ASML is one of the world's largest suppliers of semiconductor production equipment, and its devices are used by major electronics companies such as Samsung and Taiwan Semiconductors Manufacturing Company. And just as Taiwan Semiconductors dominates the market in terms of semiconductor production, ASML is the leader in the production of machines for producing chips. 60% of all chips are produced using machines from ASML. Regarding the machines that produce chips used in language models like ChatGPT, ASML is the only company capable of producing machines for the smallest transistors. The company is not cheap by valuation, with a price to earnings ratio of over 40. The market is expecting the company's business to grow by around 15 to 20 percent annually over the next two years. I do not consider shares of ASML to be attractively priced. In this film, I will be sharing my opinion, but let me be clear, I am not an investment advisor, so don't take my analysis as a recommendation to purchase assets. Taiwan Semiconductor is a cheaper company when comparing its price to earnings ratio. Both companies have solid business prospects in the artificial intelligence industry. However, the first rule of investing is not to lose money. In the event of a blockade of Taiwan by China, it would be painful for Taiwan Semiconductor. It would likely be even more severe for the rest of the world, which relies on the company's chips. And precisely because of this geopolitical risk, investing in Taiwan Semiconductor may not be the best choice. Most of the company's factories are located in Taiwan. It is worth to remember that industry prospects and attractive valuations are not everything, as shareholders of Russian commodity companies have found out not long ago. On the other hand, ASML could benefit from a blockade of Taiwan as Taiwan Semiconductor and other semiconductor-related companies would accelerate plans to build new factories in other parts of the world. Therefore, for these reasons, I would choose ASML as a more attractive option compared to Taiwan Semiconductor. But that does not mean I own shares of this company in my portfolio. Samsung, on the other hand, is undervalued and the political risk is lower. 
However, only a portion of Samsung's business is related to artificial intelligence, so it may not be the best choice for exposure to this sector. But that's not all. Let's now move on to NVIDIA and AMD. I am a tech savvy engineer and data analyst who's been investing in the stock market for the past decade. My expertise lies in investing in technology companies. The results of my best investments are displayed on screen for all to see. While some of these companies are no longer part of my portfolio, my followers encouraged me to create a group where I could share how I invest. I created groups in both English and Polish, and dozens of people have already joined Patreon and Patronite. In the group, I share my portfolio holdings, real-time transaction updates, comprehensive analysis, and webinars exclusively for members. Companies like Nvidia and AMD focus exclusively on designing chips, which they then sell to end customers, while outsourcing production and assembly to specialized firms. Nvidia is a leader in the production and sale of chips and graphics technologies, such as graphics cards for computers and game consoles, as well as cloud computing and artificial intelligence solutions. Currently, the largest business segment for Nvidia is the use of chips in data centers, which is particularly interesting considering that the company was originally founded as a game manufacturer almost three decades ago. Now you can understand why Nvidia has an advantage over its competitors, such as AMD or Intel, which did not invest in this business area. Nvidia stands out among other graphics card manufacturers thanks to its A100 graphics processor, which costs over $15,000. This processor is designed for use in data centers that handle cloud software and train artificial intelligence algorithms. Interestingly, among the three largest buyers of Nvidia's graphics processor are Meta and Tesla. Nvidia's A100 graphics processors are used by Tesla to develop artificial intelligence for self-driving Tesla cars and Tesla robots. Another example of Nvidia's advantage is the introduction of the H100 graphics processor to the market in 2022, which is characterized by about nine times the performance of the A100. And of course, the price is also higher than that of the A100 processor. Models like ChatGPT require significant computing power, which is provided by Nvidia's products. Nvidia utilizes its processors to enhance and advance artificial intelligence. OpenAI has a strategic partnership with Nvidia for the supply of hardware for research and development in artificial intelligence. However, Nvidia does not rest and does not focus only on its biggest clients, such as Meta, Microsoft, OpenAI, or Tesla. Do you use Nvidia GeForce Now? This platform allows gamers to stream games remotely, eliminating the need for an expensive computer. This way, many people can enjoy games without worrying about the cost of upgrading their computer, and Nvidia instead covers these costs. As a user, you pay a monthly fee for using Nvidia's hardware. Now, Nvidia is introducing a similar service for generative artificial intelligence. Companies will be able to use their models without the need to purchase an expensive graphics card worth tens of thousands of dollars. This is remote access to Nvidia's supercomputers in the cloud. As Nvidia's CEO said, Nvidia DGX Cloud is the fastest and easiest way to have your own DGX AI supercomputer. Just open your browser. Currently, only Nvidia's products can provide enough computing power to create massive language models based on artificial intelligence. According to estimates, around 10,000 Nvidia graphics processors were needed to train the ChatGPT model. Nvidia is always close when something related to technology happens. First, it became the biggest player in the field of graphics cards for games and consoles. Then it earned billions in the cryptocurrency mining frenzy, and now it will make money on artificial intelligence, both through language models such as ChatGPT 
and through graphics processors used to train autonomous car artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, in places where prices are high and availability is low, other companies are trying to operate independently on NVIDIA. Microsoft and Google currently buy NVIDIA graphics processors, but they plan to design their own processors for training models too. How did I score NVIDIA and AMD? In the case of NVIDIA and AMD, I also take away half points for geopolitical risk, because both companies rely mainly on Taiwan Semiconductor in the production of their semiconductors. Both companies are also very expensively valued, therefore only one point for current valuation. I believe that NVIDIA is a better choice than AMD, because its chips are the main choice for companies training language models. Although AMD also produces graphics processors, it is still far behind NVIDIA when it comes to graphic processors used for training powerful generative models. In the longer term, I have no doubt that AMD will try to compete with NVIDIA in the field of graphics processors for training artificial intelligence models. NVIDIA is a typical pick and shovel company, which means that it sells shovels during the gold rush. In the current situation, NVIDIA sells hardware that is used in the implementation of artificial intelligence in the products of many companies. In the short term, NVIDIA may benefit from the AI gold rush. Artificial intelligence has many applications, one of which is robots. I listed 14 AI companies and two of them, which are publicly traded, aim to manufacture millions of robots in the coming years. The first of these is Tesla. Tesla is currently one of the most controversial companies. Regardless of whether you are a fan of Elon Musk or not, you have to appreciate the company's achievements in the field of artificial intelligence and the planned use of this technology in Tesla's cars. It is no coincidence that Tesla organizes an annual AI day and Elon Musk himself was one of the founders of OpenAI in 2015. Although he left the company in 2018 due to conflicts of interest, Tesla intends to use AI to develop autonomous vehicles that will analyze the situation on the road in real time and to react accordingly. This will change the way we travel on the roads. The main investment thesis for Tesla is that competition in the electric car industry is increasing, but Elon Musk's company will stand out from other brands with its ability to drive autonomously. Tesla collects data from its cars and uses AI deep learning techniques to process sensor data, make real-time decisions on its autopilot systems, diagnose maintenance issues, optimize its charging network, analyze sales data, marketing and production processes. In an interview given in 2016, Elon Musk stated that Tesla is a technology company that currently produces cars. He believes that Tesla's cars are computers on wheels. Tesla has more ideas on how to profit from artificial intelligence. One of them is a network of taxi robots that will drive completely autonomously when their owners do not need them. Tesla owners will be able to earn extra money on their cars in this way. Tesla is also planning to use artificial intelligence in its humanoid robots to perform more demanding tasks in its factories and replace some employees. Amazon is also at the forefront of robotics with over 520,000 robots currently employed in their warehouses worldwide. This figure, however, pales in comparison to the number of human employees, which stands at 1 million 541,000, making the ratio of people to robots about 3 to 1 for now. Robots in Amazon warehouses do different tasks like moving, organizing, storing and getting products from shelves. They are programmed to do this task accurately and efficiently. Transport robots move along specifically designed tracks, carrying goods from one place to another. Sorting robots precisely categorize products and place them on the appropriate shelves. Robots for storing goods are equipped with special arms that allow them to grip and move items on shelves 
in Amazon's warehouse. For example, Amazon's Sparrow robot uses advanced technologies such as computer vision and artificial intelligence to move products even before they are packed. This makes the storage and order preparation process more efficient and automated. The use of robots in Amazon's warehouses significantly speeds up the storage and order preparation processes, which in turn translates into faster and more efficient customer service. But this is not the end of Amazon's robotics applications. In August 2022, the company announced its plans to acquire iRobot, the manufacturer of popular Roomba cleaning robots. Thanks to this acquisition, Amazon will have the opportunity to further develop its robotics solutions. Additionally, the e-commerce giant also benefits from the development of artificial intelligence by using it in its Amazon Web Services platform and in its own business processes, such as personalization of recommendations and delivery optimization. Thanks to AI, Amazon can increase the efficiency of its operations and improve its products and services, which allows them to increase their market position. As you can see, robots are increasingly replacing humans in tasks that require repetition and precision. This allows employees to have more time to perform tasks that engage their creativity and skills, which contributes to their satisfaction and professional development. I believe that both companies, Tesla and Amazon, will benefit from the development of artificial intelligence. Tesla may be more risky due to its strong dependence on production in factories in China, which carries geopolitical risk, and therefore scores half a point less in this category. In terms of company valuations and their future prospects, I believe that Tesla is a more attractive purchase now than Amazon. Taking into account current stock prices and business growth forecasts, Tesla has greater potential to generate profits for investors. In my portfolio, I have two companies out of 14 that I will be discussing in this video series. If you want to see which companies I have in my portfolio, join the investor community. Write in the comments which AI-related companies you invest in and why. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you will hear from me again in the next episode. And here you can receive my comments more frequently.